Hey guys, Rita here. So I wanted to do a one month postpartum baby buys video. This is the second time that I'm recording this because I watched the first time I recorded it and I said the word um like 50 million thousand times. So I didn't want to put you guys through that. Uh, I was about to say it. <laughs> but um, gosh darn it. I cannot stop saying that word. Anyway, uh, the stuff was already taken out of the bag, so I'm just going to quickly go through and show you guys what I got. This past weekend, I went to Baby's R Us, and I also went to my local Target. There were a few products that I wanted to pick up that like I needed, and then I also got some stuff that I didn't need, aka impulse buying. So let me just go ahead and show you guys really quickly what I got. The first thing that I got were these Avent breast pads. These are actually the nighttime pads. I needed something a little thicker, a little heavier for nighttime. Now, I normally wear my lily pads, and if you don't know what those are, I will be doing a review on them soon. But the reason that I have to get something else like this is because lily pads are really good for when your breast milk really starts to regulate, really starts to learn your baby's schedule. Prior to that, you really don't want to wear those because you'll have leakage and you'll think that they don't work properly when they do. Before I start using my lily pads, um, I had Avent and Medela breast pads that were like given to me. Um, darn it. <laughs> but I really like the Avent. Like I feel like they just were the shape the best. They fit in your bra the best. The reason that I need the nighttime ones are because I was waking up with a little bit of leakage. Because sometimes your body's ready to feed before the baby actually is. Your baby might sleep for like three or four hours when your body is thinking the baby needs to feed every two hours. Long story short... I've never used these, but I will let you guys know how they work out. The nighttime ones, anyway. The next thing that I got was this deluxe travel yard sheet in green. This is by Koala Baby, and um, it's really, really super soft. It's made of 100% um, polyester. The reason that I got this was because, if you guys don't know, Baby Trey will be starting daycare on the 29th of this month. I'm super, super sad. But this is one of the things that he needs on his daycare list. Um, he needed a few crib sheets, and I just wanted to make sure that one of them was like super plush and soft for him so he could sleep nice and sound. The next thing that I purchased while I was out at Babies R Us was this Boogan Head, Boggin Head, I don't know, pacifier grip. I just needed a pacifier clip, one that could go with any kind of pacifier. A lot of the pacifier clips are like especially like for that pacifier like if you get an Avent pacifier clip it can only be used with Avent pacifiers you see what I'm saying so I just wanted one that was very versatile especially since he's going to daycare he really does not use a pacifier though like he he really doesn't like pacifiers but the time that it does work maybe for like 60 seconds <laughs> is like if he's crying and maybe I expressed my milk that day and I want I need to go make him a bottle or I'm doing something and I need a minute to prepare to nurse him I can stick a pacifier in his mouth for like 60 seconds and it'll calm him other than that he spits some way across the room why I need one of these as well we've already lost like three pacifiers so the next thing that I got was some Spongebob toothpaste this is Colgate brand and it's in mild bubble fruit so Kimora loves Spongebob like absolutely adores him um, he's her favorite, and the next favorite would probably be uh, Mickey Mouse. But I got the SpongeBob toothpaste, and I also got her new toothbrushes. The packaging fell apart. Um, that's probably why these only retailed at about a dollar fifty for two. <laughs> but she needed a new toothbrush. Kamora tends to like to bite on her bristles, so the one she has looks a hot mess. Um, but these are just some fun little toothbrushes. They're like zigzaggy. They feel really good in your hand, and they say brush brush on them. So one will go upstairs in the bathroom, and I'll put another one in the diaper bag for, like, if she stays unexpectedly somewhere um, at somebody's house, we'll have a toothbrush for her, okay? So the other thing that I got was the Baby Magic um, Calming Baby Bath in Lavender and Chamomile, and I also got the matching what's the stuff called lotion <laughs> the matching lotion now I've never used baby magic products before because I don't know why but I normally only use Johnson Johnson I recently started using Aveeno but I've been told that baby magic is like the shiz like everybody says that the scent lasts really long and to be honest it 
it has like a really really strong lavender scent not so strong that it's like overwhelming or I wouldn't want to put it on the baby but it does smell like it would probably stay on the skin really long the scent which is the thing the lavender scent is what's supposed to calm the baby and make them go to sleep so I am going to try these two products probably tonight sorry if I keep fidgeting with my hair you guys it's not laying down right I need to flat iron it whatever so the next thing that I purchased okay this one is out of the package because I had to put batteries in it, but this is the It's Been uh, Pocket Nanny is what it's called. The It's Been Pocket Nanny. It looks just like this. Now, this product has been out, I want to say for a while, because I remember seeing this whenever I did my registry for Kimura when I was pregnant. They had a blue one and they had a pink one. Um, I got the blue one, obviously. The baby is a boy. But what this does is it, it goes in your hand. You can also... Put it on your belt clip or hook it onto your diaper bag or whatever whenever the baby changes their diaper or <laughs> i wish babies could change their own diapers whenever you change the baby's diaper you just simply click the button you know if you feed them or nurse them you click the button if they go to sleep you click the button if you give them medicine you click the button and it records the last time so the next time you you can look at it and say okay the baby hasn't eaten in three hours Maybe I need to feed them, or maybe I need to wake them up, or the baby's been asleep way too long, let me wake them up, or, you know, anything like that. It also has a little button here on the bottom where you can click it back and forth to remind yourself which side you nursed from. I just think it's really cool because it also has a night light, as you can see here. Um, I'm always up at nighttime fumbling, trying to get my cell phone for a light, so I think this is really cool. The only thing about this is, is that it retailed at about $24.99. You can find something really similar to this on your cell phone if you have an Android or um, an Apple iPhone. They have apps that are free that basically do the same thing. The reason that I like this though is because it's physical in my hand. On my phone, well one, my phone is forever dying and it's forever dead. So half the time that I need to record something, my phone's dead anyway. <laughs> but... Um, with my phone, I have to unlock my phone, I have to flip through my apps, I have to click the app, then I have to find, you know, in the app, and I just wanted something that I can simply pick up or that's already on my hip, and I just press one button and one button, and that's all. So, it's a little pricey, but I probably will do a review for you guys after using it. <sighs> I haven't started using it yet, I just took it out the package to put the batteries in it. I have no idea where the package is, but, um... It's called It's Been, if you guys want to look this up. The next thing that I purchased, where is it? Right here. I'm really, really, really excited about this. So, Kimura will be turning two on November 12th. Something that we're super, super excited about is hardcore potty training time. She's already semi-potty trained. Not really. <laughs> like, she can tell us when she has to go pee-pee or I have to go poo-poo. She will start taking off her diaper or take, start taking off her clothes. She will go upstairs and sit on the potty all by herself. But she never goes. <laughs> Most of the time, she went already and then she tells me. So, we just have to figure that out a little bit. But I really want to do hardcore potty training. So, I picked up some big girl panties. These were about $8 for a pack of three, but I'm really hearing from a lot of different mommy friends that I have and just, you know, um, reading on blogs and stuff like that, that this is the trick to potty training a girl um, in like a day. <laughs> not not quite in a day, but um, I just finished reading a blog post about so potty yeah, training. So yeah, I'm being told that these are like really the trick to potty training basically, um, you know, with diapers, it soaks up a little bit of the liquid with these. It, there's nothing to absorb anything so the little girls are like ew and they freak out and they really make sure they can get themselves to the potty the next time they feel like they have to go because they don't want to experience that again so I really wanted to try this out I'll probably have to carry around like a bottle of water and ammonia for all those accidents that are going to happen on my floor and my carpet but I think it's worth a try that's why I also purchased this this was 10 bucks and this is called the potty time potty watch I'm really excited to see if this works, if Kamora will keep it on her arm and what have you. But basically you can set it to 30, 60, or 90 minute intervals. And when the timer goes off, let's see, it plays a song. 
So, and it lights up. So it's like, oh my gosh, it's time to go potty. <laughs> and I don't know, it seems really cool. Like a really fun idea. So maybe with these two things together, it can really help with potty training and Kimura's Dora potty that we have up there. I should have got a SpongeBob one as much as she loves him, but I really hope to potty train her soon. When she turns two, she'll be moving to the older toddler classroom in her daycare, and most of them are potty trained, so I really, really want her to, you know, be on track, so I don't want her to be left out. So that's that. What else did I get from Babies R Us? The last thing that I purchased from Babies R Us was... Not something that I went there for. This was the impulse buy I was talking about. And it is a diaper bag. I know, I know. I'm obsessed with diaper bags. But um, I have been hearing about this diaper bag all the time. And on YouTube. And just I saw it. And like I guess it's the new hot diaper bag out. And I was like okay, okay. But then when I saw it in the store it was so gorgeous. I like I had to get it. It was like oh my god I want it. So this is a JJ Cole satchel bag. And... I haven't used it yet. I just put a little sanitizer thing on there. But this bag is so gorgeous. And it comes with stroller clips. Um, if you guys don't know what a satchel is, a satchel is basically like a diaper bag that looks like a purse. So it's really big too. It's bigger than it looks in pictures and probably than it looks in this video. So it's perfect for two kids, a toddler and a baby. The other thing that I really, really, really liked is... That it's gray and the inside is this beautiful pink. It's like a pinky purple. And the colors just go together so great. Like I said, this video probably doesn't do it justice. But I'm going to use this bag for a little bit. And maybe I'll do a review for you guys. Or better yet, I'll just do an updated what's in my diaper bag video with two kids. So this is what I got. This retails for about $69.99 I believe. And this is the Stone Arbor color. All right, so then I went to Target, and at Target, I picked up this cute little Fisher Price stroller rattle. It's a little monkey, and then there's the elephant and the lion, some bananas, little butterfly, and um, I don't know. I thought it was so cute, and the baby doesn't have like any like stroller, car seat, any accessories like this. So I figured I would pick one up, and it's so adorable. Oh, I forgot something that I got at Babies R Us. I also got him a, just a little hooded sweater. This is a newborn. A lot of, he has so many sweaters in zero to three months and three months, and they're big on him. Like, I tried to put a little jacket on the other day, and the sleeves basically swallowed his arms. So, I wanted to get him something that he can fit just for the time being for, like, when we go out, which we don't do much because he's so little. But I thought that this was really cute and really soft. So, this was 15 bucks at Babies R Us. The last thing that I got, and I got it from Target, but this is the last thing that I purchased, is actually this Summer Deluxe Bathing Seat. So it looks like this. Here's a better picture. It looks like that. And the reason that I picked the bathing seat instead of the actual bathtub is just because in our house we don't have much storage space. It's an older house, and for some reason they did not believe in closet space back in the day. If they only knew what a woman would turn into and how much closet space she would need. But anyway, <laughs> this um, I think is a great idea. The only problem with this is right after I purchased it and I was about to walk out, a fellow mom came up to me and she was like, I saw what you purchased and I just wanted to let you know that there's a recall out on it. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me before I bought it? <laughs> but the, she said that the recall was basically for people who were using this product um, the wrong way. She said that they were putting the baby in the bathtub and then when it was time to take the baby out, they were lifting up the whole seat with the baby and some people's was snapping and the baby, I guess, was falling. Ouch. I don't plan to use it that way. I plan to use it the correct way and take my baby out of it before I pick this thing up. Common sense. But I will probably be using this tonight. I'll let you guys know how it works out. It was only $14.99, so if it does break, hopefully not with the baby in it because then I'll be suing someone. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding, Summer, I'm not going to see. But I will let you guys know how this works out. So those are all the things that I purchased. I don't think that I forgot anything. Just taking a peek around. 
Nope, I didn't forget anything. I hope you guys like this video. If you saw anything that you really want me to do a review on, just let me know and I will surely talk about it in one of my other videos or make a video specific for that. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, and please thumbs this video up. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!